Man, I can't believe it's been five years since I've seen her. If it wasn't for this damn marriage pact, we wouldn't be here right now. We haven't even talked. I just showed up to the place that we agreed to meet five years ago if neither one of us was married. Here I am, at our favorite restaurant. Who knows if she'll even show. Does she even remember? Is she married? I don't think she is. I mean, I did stop checking her social media for a reason. I would have lost my mind. <laughs> well, I honestly don't even know if she'll show. Is that her? Oh my gosh. Hi. It's been such a long time since I've seen you. Yeah, yeah, you look good too. Oh my gosh. You look so different and yet so the same. Sorry, it's just that I guess the best way to explain it would be my eyes just feel comfortable resting on you. <laughs> Sorry. I just mean that you're, you know, still just as pretty as I remembered. <laughs> yes, you are. Don't argue with me. Oh, whatever. Try to turn it back on me. I see how it is. Seriously, you look Great, though, and that outfit is definitely new. It looks really good on you. I can see that you're trying out a different style, or maybe this is just your new style. Which is it? It's really, um, working for you. <laughs> so, how has life been? I mean, it's been... Five years since we've even talked to each other. You must have tons of stories about all of the things that you've done, the people you've met. Okay, okay. You don't have to tell any long story today. I just... God, I'm curious. Did you ever fall in love? <laughs> I should have known. Yeah, I... I never really did either. I'm sure you're in a very similar boat to me. I obviously went on dates with people, but nothing could ever really strike me the way that you did. You know? It's not like we broke up for some stupid, toxic, silly reason. It was just distance was hard. Long distance is really hard. And... We were driven apart by it. If we were sitting in our favorite date restaurant all those years ago, I'm sure we could have made it work. It's just one of those things where sometimes time and distance don't let you. You were really good to me, and I did my best to be good to you. Sure, I might have <laughs> a few screws loose, but who doesn't, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. These last five years have been really rough for me, and seeing you here like this is just mind-blowing. I thought for sure someone as amazing as you would get married and have kids and all of those nice things we've talked about all those years ago. <laughs> I guess I never accounted for the fact that I'm better. <laughs> I guess what I mean to say is, is I set the bar kind of high for you, huh? Don't worry, it was the same thing with you. I couldn't date any other woman because they were never as amazing as you. I mean, obviously, you're prettier, but it's a little bit more than that. You and I just had, like, a relationship dynamic that was truly comfortable. I never felt like I had to worry being around you. I never felt like there was somebody who was going to steal you away. 
no matter what happened, you loved me so hard and so kindly that I knew that you could never do that to me. Your love was healing, honestly. You took all of my pain away. <laughs> it's a shame that college took us apart. But that's okay, because here we are now, meeting up again. And I don't know about you, but right now I'm feeling kind of like a tension type thing. Like Schrodinger's cat. I know that something's here. I know something's in the box. It, it's giving off this undeniable feeling. There's tension in the air, and I can't stop looking at your lips. But I can't really know if what's in the box is alive or dead until we test it out and see if there's really something here worth reviving. I really honestly don't think that our feelings have died. I can see it in your eyes, and I am sure as hell you can see it in mine. I'm still just as obsessed with you as I was all those years ago, and that's not going to change. <laughs> so what do you say? Do we open the box, or do we let the tension hang a little while longer? Fine, fine. We can chit-chat a little more. Um, I didn't know if you would be here or when you would be here, but I kind of already ordered your favorite thing, so you don't need to worry about ordering here. Unless your favorite thing has changed in the last five years, I guess I didn't really think of that. <laughs> if it has, just order it. I'll cover it. It's not a problem. After all, I was the one who made the order initially instead of just waiting. <laughs> what can I say? I was excited to be here, and I don't know. I just thought maybe if I placed the order, you were guaranteed to show up. You would just feel a nagging sense of obligation from wherever you were on the earth, and you would appear right in front of me, right as your plate was being set down. It's silly, huh? But I mean, I'm being honest here. I'm not lying about that. I really wanted you to be here, so I ordered for you. I guess it's just one of those things where if you let yourself doubt, you'll just be sad. And I didn't want to be sad, so I just didn't doubt it. You were going to be here. <laughs> yeah, this place has always had a little bit of slow service, but that's never been a problem for you and I, because no matter how much silence is around us, we can always fill it with conversation. And I mean, even if we can't, I really like looking at you anyways. <laughs> Why look at my food when I can just look at you? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a little too early for something like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. My mind is just racing. I can't control what comes out of my mouth, honestly. You're going to have to forgive me for that, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah. I just... I want to say that you were probably the best thing that ever happened to me, and I really hope that by the end of today, you'll realize that maybe I was a good thing in your life too. Maybe it's something that you're even willing to bring back into your life. Who knows? I know that I love you, and that's all there is to it. I can tell that you still love me. So the question is, do you want to get back together? I couldn't move to you all those years ago, but I can do it now. 
I'm graduated. I'm stable. If you want to move to me, I, we can do that. Or if you want me to move to you, I can also do that. <laughs> Just let me know, okay? Are you ready to see what's in the box? Oh, yeah. It's alive. 